I get asked a lot of times about form, about failure, about success, about feelings, about sport in general. And it always takes me back to something that I call the cycle of life. Now, as we know, a cycle, 360. Off she goes, round she goes. And I'm a firm believer that we go through passages in our life where we are average, where we're learning, where we're progressing, where we're getting better, where we're getting good, we're getting very good, we're getting excellent and performing at our best, best level. Now, those always don't just come in order and you don't just keep going around that loop thinking you're going to get better and better and better and better and better. I did a team talk once in the dressing room at the Oval in London and Surrey weren't doing too well, they weren't playing well at all and uh, there were a lot of people pointing fingers, pointing fingers, pointing fingers and uh, I think I had to just try and calm the situation down by saying that nobody has a God-given right to be able to tell person you should be doing better, why are you not doing this? Because nobody understands that person as well as that person understands themselves. And I think the cycle of life that I've learned over the years is that at certain times you're going to be very good. At certain times you're going to be very, very bad. We're human at the end of the day. We're not some sort of robot. We're not a robot that has to keep on delivering. Sportsmen, businessmen, you doing your schoolwork. You're never going to get 100% all the time. I was never playing the best cover drive. I was always never ever going to be the best every single game. The deliverables that I keep talking about are practice, training, getting yourself into a good, good headspace to be able to go out and play well. But it doesn't matter. Sometimes you can train as much as you want and still fail. Understanding and accepting failure is something that you have to do as well. But it's that cycle of life where we need to be firm believers in knowing that we are going to go through stages where we're going to be good, good, very good, horrendous, rubbish, real, real bad, very good for another little purple patch, bad again, good, 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 good. The crux of making sure that you can keep consistency is to make sure that you keep things simple and keep practicing the way in which you know benefits what you're doing in your line of work, learning hard, understanding your maths, reading your notebooks, taking in, listening to advice. Listening to advice if it suits you though. Listen, good, we've got two ears, we've got one mouth. Listen twice as much as you talk. And that's the way that it works and that's how I understand things. But I suppose the overriding message from this is quite simple. The cycle of our life has it that we're going to be good at stages, we're going to be bad at stages. Understand that. Understand we're not robots. Understand that we're humans. Understand that we are going to fail. And when you fail, so what? Get up and go again. Try and remain positive. Try and put a structure in place that can build you up knowing I'm doing the right thing, I'm doing the right thing, my time will come. When your time does come, make it last for as long as you can. Keep that purple patch going for as long as you can. But when you're in that purple patch, make sure people around you know what you're doing or what you've done to get to that purple patch. That when you go back to somewhere along that circle, not playing well again, the people that knew you in your purple patch can, can, you, can get you back to that purple patch. That's the mantra that I lived with. I was in a purple patch at the start of my career, 2005 Ashes. I went to Australia down in the Ashes again a year and a half later, still purple patch. Played a World Cup in the Caribbean, still in a purple patch. Uh, got captained England, purple patch. So I was riding a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wave. Lost the captaincy for 18 months. I didn't score a test hundred. That 18 months was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. But I knew somebody in that purple, in that patch, that could take me back to being good again. Went back and worked with that person. He made me good again. He sorted my game out again. And I got back into a rhythm where I knew that I was playing well and I got back into playing well again. 
but there were certain periods and certain off-field things that I had to deal with in my career, but I try to maintain a real positive stance in the training and the work ethic. So the cycle of life has it that we're gonna be good at some stage, we're gonna be bad at some stage. We're not robots, we're humans. If you're good at the moment, stay good. If you're not so good, practice better, play better. Your time will come. That's all from me on the cycle of life.